So you just were out driving? No, no. I don't want to admit, admit that. Okay. Okay. Did you come out to see, see somebody today? Uh, somebody invited me to come over. Okay. Well, who was that? Uh, Cheyenne somebody. This is James Rouch. James, who usually went by Jim, was a 60-year-old faculty member of the University of Cincinnati. He taught courses at the college, criminal justice and human services, specifically helping with the distance learning graduate programs in criminal justice. He also had a passion for the arts, composing music, and often wrote in the University of Cincinnati newspaper, expressing thoughts like this one. I just received a copy of the University of Cincinnati Horizons. I found that this April issue of Horizons exceeds any UC publication I've seen in my past four to five years at the university. It exceeds in its quality and layout, but more importantly, the message and concept. It truly encompasses all of the arts in our university community. Please accept my congratulations on a truly noble effort in spreading this message. Those who worked alongside him would go on to say that he was more than a bit pompous and arrogant. He often spoke down to his peers, thinking himself better than them. He was the kind of person who constantly had something to say and wanted to make sure that everyone knew that he was the smartest man in the room. But to most, Jim was just an average guy, which is why most people were shocked when in 2007 he was arrested as a part of a sting done by the show To Catch a Predator. Welcome back to another episode of Dreading, or if this is your first time here, welcome. Today we are going to be going over the case of Jim Rouch and his infamous interrogation. Jim is one of the hundreds of men that were caught in part due to the show To Catch a Predator, and is incredibly well known to the people who are fans of the show which is why this case came so highly recommended by one of our longtime patrons. That said, if there is a video you would like to see us create, or a case you want to bring more attention to, feel free to let me know in the comments down below, or email me at dreading.official at gmail.com. With all of that said, let us begin. On April 1st, 2007, Jim would come across a profile, seemingly belonging to a young girl. The profile included a normal picture of a girl, and throughout the profile, it was obvious that the person behind the account was 13 years old and not an adult. Despite that, Jim went ahead and sent a friend request to the profile. The account, which was not run by a child, but rather was run by the cyber vigilante group Perverted Justice, immediately responded to the friend request, asking if they, the girl, knew Jim, to which he responded, trying to flirt with the person posing as a minor. Do you want to? Before we go any further, it's important to clarify that despite what the Rick and Morty co-creator Justin Roiland thinks, what perverted justice does is not entrapment, as simply having an account that appears to be run by a child should not result in adults trying to prey on that child. In cases like this one, the account in question is never going out of their way to engage with the men and women who seek them out. They simply post, pretending to be a minor, and the predators come to them. However, to be clear, it does not matter if a minor online reaches out to an adult and attempts to engage with them in an inappropriate way. The adult they are reaching out to knows that engaging with a minor is legal and wrong, while the child likely does not. The account run by Perverted Justice stated that their name was Cheyenne, and immediately told Jim that they were a 13-year-old living in Kentucky. They also demonstrated the age difference in their lack of maturity, as when Jim stated that he was a male in his 50s and was horny, they asked, where's horny? Jim then verifies Cheyenne's age, asking if she was really 13 years old, which she says she is. He then, after less than eight minutes of talking, sends her a picture of his penis, asking her, quote, would you like to suck on this, unquote. Cheyenne tells him no, and that she doesn't even know him, but Jim continues the conversation, and asks her if she, quote, fucks around, unquote. She doesn't know what that means, and he rephrases his question, asking the 13-year-old if she likes to feel a man inside of her. For nearly two weeks, Jim talks to Cheyenne almost every day, attempting to groom who he believes to be a child into a sexual relationship with him. He asks her where she lives, where she goes to school, and pretends to be interested in her friends and family, all with the direct purpose of manipulating this child into being with him. The entire chat log will be linked below, but at no point does the decoy start the sexual conversation or pressure it to continue. On April 12, 2007, the decoy states that her family is going out of town and that she will be left home alone for the first time since speaking to Jim. She asks him if he wants to come over, something that he has stated he wanted to do numerous times in their conversations, and after stating that he wants to go, he sends her this. Cheyenne, I have too much to lose by getting caught doing this. I have second thoughts. I'm still not trusting, and I don't know if it's okay. 
please don't stop talking, and maybe someday we can really do this. I'd love to come over there and feel you as much as you want to feel me, but I can't, at least right now, Jim. The decoy then states she knew he wouldn't come, and he says, no, I'm serious. It could wreck my life. Oh, but I would love to make love to you, but I'm scared that your neighbors would see my car. Your mother would come home early. Would you like to talk with me? I'll send my mover. I think he meant number. He repeats that he is scared that this situation could ruin his life. And then, in order to verify that she is who she says she is, gives her his private phone number. The decoy then calls. Hello? Hi. Hi. I bet, I, I bet this is Cheyenne. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Not much. What are you doing? I'm just about, I'm, I, I'm getting ready to go. I'm getting ready to, I'm getting ready to get on the road. Cool. Are you interested? Yeah, very. Yeah, I I just you know, I I just I'm just like scared there's gonna be somebody over there like 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 the cops and everything. No, it's just me. Okay, well, one forty what Kevel? Yep. Okay, well I will be there as I'm 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 at my place right now, and I'm uh, it's like Eastgate area. Okay. And and I will be there as as soon as I can as soon as I can be there. Okay. Are, are you are you are you sure this is okay? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. Well, Mommy, I will be. What? Do you want me um to make you some juice or something for when you get come over? No, I just I just have a like a black and tonic. I'm fine. I'm 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 fine. I'm I'm, I'm okay. Okay. And. And I will be there as, uh, as as quickly as I can as I can get there. I've got a couple things to finish up here before I leave the house, and then and, um, and then I'll be right over there. Okay. Is there okay. anything I should know? Is there anything okay. I should know about the, about the house or anything? Yeah, you said. I said okay. Let me let me think through this. Okay, I get off uh, 471, uh, turn on 27. Uh, first street on the on the left. I don't know what the name of that street is, and then the right and then the left, and that's Kevel. It's it's 140 Vogel, V O G E L. Oh Vogel, Vogel. I don't know why I said Kevel. Uh, okay, it's 140 vo uh, Vogel. It's um, okay. What I turn off? What I turn off of 127? Off of 27? What's that road? Do you know? Never mind. I'll. I'm, I'm not sure. It's the first okay. one. It's the first one. It's the first yeah. one. Yeah. Okay. Do you, want me, do you want me to call you in a little bit just to make sure you have the right direction? I'll tell you what. You you, you call you call my cell. I've got your phone number on the, on my cell now. I I will. I'll just if I need if I need you, I'll just like back up on that. Okay. It's um. I don't know. It, it's at the uh, dead end. It, it's a dead end street. Okay, so it's, and it's, it's pretty easy to find. It's on the left hand side, one forty is. Yeah, you you turn down camp and then you make make a right on uh Vogel. Okay. Turn right on Vogel and is there a sign or a, a mailbox or something? The the house number should be fairly easy um to to spot. Okay, okay, okay. Well if I have a problem I like I said I've got your number. You sure this yeah. is okay with you? This is okay yeah. with you. Okay. This, this is okay with me. I'll call you though, because I don't know. Um, my mom might have myself my incoming calls blocked, but I can call you. Okay. Well, I'm. I like I said, within the next half hour or so, I'm heading my way over there. Okay. And I would. I, this is. I'm really looking forward to this. I am too. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds okay. real good. I will, I will give you a call in a half an hour. Okay. Okay, and if uh, I may pull up your driveway before that half hour, because I'm I'm just about ready to leave here. Okay. Okay, I'll That's see you in a little bit. Yeah. Um, bye bye. bye. Jim was obviously relieved when he heard what he believed to be a child's voice on the other end of the call. He, on some level, didn't think that the police would be able to fake a child's voice so well, and he thought he was going to be meeting up with a 13-year-old child to have sex. He was also incredibly drunk. Before making his way out to see Cheyenne, Jim would consume multiple drinks, attempting to quell his nerves. He then got into his car and proceeded to get lost, trying to find the decoy house. 
Hello. Hi. Hi. I am at the... Okay. Okay. I'll tell you where I'm at because I'm... I'm at uh, Antonio's Wine, Liquor, and Beer Tobacco. Okay, I, I'm looking for a left turn, left hand turn, or to go past the church. Um, I don't. Uh, I you don't first remember. Have, I don't what? remember. I don't remember a church. Okay, it's called. Uh, oh, shit, I can't tell. I'm going down the hill now. I'm going to turn around and come back up. I'm ready. I'm I'm ready to see you. Okay. Mhm. I'm okay, ready here's to see a you too. there's a stop sign here. Is this the office? The what? The office and then there's the cottage, cocktail lounge. Have you found have you found the other like Alexandria Parkway? It's right across from I'm um, turning around. I'm turning around, okay. Uh I get a feeling I went too far. Okay. Okay. Okay, I went past the co- the cottage cocktail lounge, the office, and I'm going up the hill. Oh, I hope the hell you have a bathroom because I'm gonna, I need to piss. Okay, you, the, the church. Well, what church is it? Is it? What? What What's the name of the church that you're passing? Oh shit. Um, there's no sign out front. What's it look uh, like? What? What's it look like? Oh, it's a big church. Uh, there's Anto- Antoine's wine okay. and beer. You go. You go past the church. I go past the church. Yes. That means I fuck. I gotta turn around. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's not. That's not a problem. I can do it. I'm a damn good driver. I'll say go with the Okay. I've got I've gone to the to the uh, wine and okay now here's the church I'm back to the church okay hold up there hold up I'm hold, hold up there's a green light here at the church I'm now going down the hill okay yeah you okay. go down the hill I think you're you're looking what? for you're looking for um Alexandria Parkway. I don't think so. What do you mean you don't think so? I'm probably on Alexandria Parkway. Oh, are you? <laughs> I'm guessing. Cause, okay, here's the off. I'm back to the office. I'm at go red for the light here. You want to go straight on twenty seven? Are you on I got a feeling this is. I think I'm. I think I'm on twenty-seven. I really do. Okay, you want to keep going straight. Okay, I'm. Okay, I'm here at uh, transfer station sportswear. Big lot. Passing big lot. Lot. It's going. It's five miles. Just keep going straight. It's, it's what? About five miles. It's about. About five, five miles. miles. Oh shit! Okay, making a big sure. Oh shit! You better damn well have a someplace for this. You have a bathroom. Why wouldn't I have a bathroom? Because I have to piss. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you places I'm seeing. Papa John's. Here's um. Sherwin Williams. Have you passed the Lowe's? Please. Have you passed the Lowe's? Have I passed the what? Lowe's. The what? Lowe's store. Lowe's store. The Lowe's Home Improvement. No, I don't. No, 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 no. Okay. Once you, once you see the Lowe's. There's a Lowe's. I, I'm coming to a Lowe's. Okay, it's first street. I'm sorry. Night. I'm coming to a McDonald's. You're coming to a McDonald's. Okay. Once you get to Lowe's, it's the first street on the right. There's a, okay, there's a street here on the okay, on the right. Yeah, but that's once it's okay. No, it's at Lowe's. You have to pass Lowe's first. 
Not okay. McDonald's. You, you have to pass Lowe's. Okay, I see a White Castle. Am I am I confusing you? No. I'm just okay. Oh, no. Okay. Keep, keep coming. Keep coming because you're gonna see a Lowe's. You're gonna see a Lowe's Home Improvement Store. After you see the and, Lowe's, I have first not store. seen a Lowe's. It's a, it's I see a Kmart. Kmart. I see a Kmart. Uh, keep coming. It's about five miles. It's a great. Um, why don't you tell me downtown Cincinnati? Huh? Yeah, why don't you tell me since downtown Cincinnati? Jim is beginning to get suspicious once again. On the one hand, a child not knowing exactly where they live and giving perfect step-by-step -step directions is normal. She is 13 and likely only knows what her parents have told her. But Jim knows what he is doing is wrong and illegal. Should he be caught attempting to meet up with a 13-year-old, one who he spoke explicitly to, his life as he knows it will be over. It's okay. Hey, listen to me. Huh? If you can do what we're talking about, I'm driving. Okay. You got me? Yeah. Look, God, somebody does because we're down in uh, Newport. <laughs> <laughs> does that make sense? <laughs> I get a piss, though. God, I got a piss bad. I have a Ooh, bathroom. Someone. I have a bathroom. What? I have a bathroom. Just keep coming. Yeah, but when I get it, uh, gourmet chili. You I don't think it's going right. Soon. From what the directions you gave me, Dixie chili. I'm going by Dixie chili right now. Dixie I chili? am on new. What? Dixie what? Chili? You're going the wrong yeah. way. Uh, I figured as such. I guess I may have to stand off from the road and piss off. Piss. What do you think? Do you think I should go stand over the side of the road and piss? <laughs> no, just keep coming. Just keep coming. I have a bathroom. You can. I'll open the door for you and you can run into the bathroom when you come. Where do you go to school? Where do you go to school? I go to school. I go to school. I go to school. At, at the local school. Like four blocks away. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I flustered you as big as they. In their chat logs, Jim repeatedly asked Cheyenne where she went to school, and she had always rebuffed his questions, saying that she doesn't give out that information to people she doesn't know. But throughout their conversations, she also gave key details away, like the fact that when they first started talking, she was on spring break. Jim is an educator. And it's more than likely that in order to verify that she was in fact a minor, he looked up the schools in her area and when their spring breaks were scheduled. It's possible that the date she said she was on spring break wasn't directly in line with some school districts, but it was in line with others. And given Jim's paranoia about sleeping with a minor, he likely knows which schools had that exact spring break and wants to see if she does. It's unlikely that the decoy knows the spring break information of schools in this area and rebuffs his question as best she could. I know I did. Hey, listen, it's not a big deal. I, I, I'm, I'm trying. I, I'm really worried about you know this legal thing. What are you worried about? Can I fuck you and you still thirteen? Yeah. You think? I won't tell anybody. Oh and God. If, and if you and if you don't tell anybody, I don't tell anybody. You know? Okay. 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 We'll we'll go from there. Okay. Oh, some guy's come out to my car. God, he's got a, like, like a, a Afro thing on. Huh. Okay, where am I going? Okay, did you turn around? I'll tell you where I'm headed, and you can tell me from there. Okay, if I piss around. my car, I, 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 will, I will piss out my windows, okay? Huh? If I have to piss out my windows, I will. <laughs> okay, I am down at Newport right now. Down at Newport. Okay, you need to turn around and, and go the opposite way. You need to... Okay, I need to go out of the way away from Newport. Newport, I understand that. Okay, and I will do that. Uh, unless I can't, which is which is another... Hmm. I wish I had a bottle or something. I'm sorry. Is that, is that, 
I pay how crude crude I am. Okay. Okay. I just went by a hopper house. What? I just went out. by the Hofbra house. What? You went by the Hofbra house? Yes, in Newport. You're in Newport. Okay. Did you turn around? Did I turn? I'm gonna I'm gonna get back on seven. I'm gonna get back on four seventy one. You want to get? No, you want to go on go the opposite way on twenty seven. You went into Newport, so you want to turn around and go the opposite way. You you want to pass. All the stuff that you pass, you want to pass Papa John's. Right, and, right. I understand, but if I go on 471, I can bypass all that, right? I don't know that way. Okay, where can I get off 471 to get to you? Go, just turn around. Turn like. Are you ah, yeah. Okay, okay. I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll do that. Just because you know. Okay, I'm turning around. Okay. I may stop at it like like a... You know what? Can, can you hold on for, so for a second while I piss, piss my brains out? Okay. <laughs> Do you like that? Hey, damn it, Cheyenne. How do you get a damn name like Cheyenne... And be in li- and live in Newport. I don't know. <laughs> and and your real age is thirteen. Yeah. You sure you want to fuck me? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm at the oh fuck what is this? What a Tommy Square whatever. I'm at the corner where where actually uh, my daughter. Oh God, this is this is freaky. My daughter was did movies at um, at Pompilios. Mhm. Have you ever been to Pompilios? I don't know. I I don't think so. Hey, yeah, yeah. You ever said pick up Pom- Pompilios? You're breaking think. up, right? <laughs> and uh, breaking up is that what we call that? No. Oh, we, yeah. We, yeah. Okay, I'm driving up toward, we're going to get there before your mother gets home, okay? Mm-hmm. And, come on, you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm just trying I to like, know where you are. I like this on the phone, by the way. <laughs> I'm going to stop over a second, I'm going to piss my brains out. i got to piss okay. if I don't. I will call you back in a minute, okay? I'll call you back in a, bit, in a minute, okay? Okay, fine. Bye-bye. All right. Bye. She calls once more, and after a while, he finally finds his way to the home. However, as we know, he hasn't met with the 13-year-old girl he desperately wanted to be with, and instead was met with Chris Hansen and the police. However, given how late it was when he arrived, Chris Hansen never questioned him, and instead was immediately arrested and brought in for questioning. In Jim's personal life, he viewed himself as an upstanding citizen, and often railed against criticism of law enforcement. The police were there to protect them, and he felt as if they were above reproach. He believed that he was one of the good ones, and only those who had something to hide questioned the actions of the police. This belief is shown on display here, as Jim will try to befriend the cops questioning him. In his mind, this entire ordeal is a misunderstanding because he is such a good person and would never actually do what he was just caught doing. His conversations with the decoy weren't him trying to sexually exploit a minor, but instead was made to look like it was by a sting operation. He will deny any responsibility for his actions and try to distance himself away from what occurred and try to frame the sting operation as being corrupt and evil. He is also considerably drunk during this interview, which will lead to him making numerous missteps throughout. He will attempt to ingratiate himself to the cops, letting them know that he is a good person who supports them and admires what they do. So you just were out driving? No, no, I don't want to admit, admit that. Okay. Immediately, Jim tries to distance himself from what he has done, without realizing that simply going for a drive at night isn't a criminal offense. Him being unwilling to admit that he drove when he drove his car into the driveway of the Sting House is ridiculous, and a sign of the ridiculous things to come. Did you come out to see, see somebody today? Uh, somebody invited me to come over. Okay. Well, who was that? 
uh, Cheyenne something. Jim refused to admit that he was out driving, but is willing to admit that he had been invited over to the home of a 13-year-old girl. How'd you meet, uh, how'd you meet Cheyenne? I was on online and came up. Okay. Um, when you were online, do you do you that at home or do you... I do it at home. You do it at home? Okay. Yes. Is that generally the only place you do it? Yes. Okay. What do you have? Do you have your own personal computer or laptop? Yes. It's a, both. Oh, do you have, you have both? I actually have two laptops. Okay, two laptops? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you just... I, it's my business. Okay, it's your business? Okay. What, what type you, of business? I, I do web pages for, for University of Cincinnati. I have access to those, those, uh, I need to have access to mm -hmm. those in, in order to do the business with them. Mm -hmm. And you usually use all those computers to chat to people or chat or you just use one, one specific or? Um, usually at home. Okay, usually at home? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And? If, if, I, if I do chat. If which you do I, don't, I don't do. But that, again, because of the fact of the business that I'm in, mm -hmm. chat is a part of what I do. And chat is a part of University of Cincinnati distance learning. Okay. And I need to be able to do to access that okay. in order to be able to do the business I do, the business I do okay. with them. Okay. Um, so you met. So you met Cheyenne. I didn't met meet Cheyenne. She she had, came after me. Okay, she came after. As we have covered, this is patently false. Jim sent Cheyenne a friend request and repeatedly sent her sexual messages, despite her repeatedly saying that she was 13. With predators like Jim, they often will try to put the onus of responsibility onto the child they are preying on. They will say the child was flirting with them, that they started the sexual talk, and that they were clearly the one in control. They will try to frame themselves, the adult, as being helpless against the child's actions. This, of course, is untrue and stupid. If you are an adult and the person under the age of consent is pursuing you sexually, there are clear and obvious steps you can take to stop them, informing their parents, blocking them on social media, refusing to engage with them, and not allow yourself to be alone with them. These are just a few ways that you can do this, but there are plenty more ways. As the adult in the situation, it is your responsibility not to engage with the minor in a sexual way, if that is, in fact, the case, which in most situations, it's not. You tell me about that. I don't, I don't know. I don't know exactly how it happened at all. Okay. I have no recollection at all what happened for her to make contact with me. I don't know, was I on, was I on some line of some sort? I have no idea. Okay. So you you were chatting and she came on she came on to you while you were chatting some sometime? Well somebody did whatever who that sign is. Okay. Jim clearly feels betrayed by the fact that Cheyenne was not who she said she was. Never mind the fact that Cheyenne said she was a 13-year-old who hadn't graduated middle school yet. His statement, along with his body language, indicates annoyance and betrayal, which is nearly comical, given the situation. In his mind, the man who wanted to sleep with a minor is the one wronged in the situation. Do you, do you know how old Cheyenne was? She told me she was 13, but, and, and I was very, 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 I don't, I don't do that. You don't do that? I don't want to do that. Okay. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not there. Not there? No, -uh, not at all. Okay. Um, I'd be happy, you know, like, give me, a, give me an 18, 19-year-old and I'll be happy. Oh, yeah. 13-year-olds, okay. I'm, God, it's, it's gross. Not, not your thing? No. Yeah. Okay. And when you were talking to Cheyenne on the chat, chat line, what did you guys talk about? Well, and up until this afternoon, which was, uh, I don't know what I, I, I gave in for, but I thought, thought she was more like a, an adult. But um, no, I, 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 I was very, very cautious not to, not to be there. I didn't want to be there. I didn't read out the full chat, as it's incredibly graphic. But within the first 10 minutes of talking to Cheyenne, Jim asked her to turn her webcam on so he could masturbate for her on video. He was not extremely cautious, and the continued insistence that he was has more to do with his inebriation, as he doesn't realize that the officers in front of him have the chat logs. Okay. 
I really don't. I really, that's not, not, not my thing. I don't like it. I don't want it. I don't want it. Oh, it's worth But you might have a good little curiosity. A little curiosity? No, I don't even. Like I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not even curious I don't have any curiosity about it. It's it's too young. It's 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 stupid. Okay. And now you can go back and look at all the records of the conversations I've had. Yeah, yeah that's exactly what I said. It's it's stupid. Okay. I, I don't. That's not what I want to be. Okay. You know. I don't even like. I don't even. I don't even. That's not. That's not me. No, not at all. Uh, do you have any type of webcam or anything like that? I do have a webcam. Okay. Okay. Um, do you ever use it for any for any purposes? Or? It's a it's available. Okay. Use it. I don't know what that means. Okay. <laughs> right. So we, we didn't we didn't get into what you guys talked about. What, what you guys talked about? I was very, very up until today, which is obviously the reason the results have come. But I have been very, very cautious of not talking about anything. I do not want to be involved with a 13-year-old. I do not like it. I don't want it. And I, for some reason, I just, I just get re relaxed and... So who do you think you were talking to? Another person. Another person. Really, that's perfect. I and mean, that's honest with you. I don't know for whatever worth value that is. Okay. I don't. I, 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 I don't. I I cannot condone the 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 statements that I would have made this afternoon to her. I, I would. I wish I could retract them, yeah. not because of you guys, yeah. but because of the fact that I, I, I just don't. That's not it. That's not me. I don't. I don't see it. I don't. Jim, I understand. All right, and I, I'm. You're. You. You. I understand. You. You made a mistake. Here, okay. I've read the chats. Right. Okay? And you I, can see I, how you know. You know, I I see here where you you told her that you wanted to to fuck around, and that you. We're we're then what then what provoked that? Yeah. You know, yeah. You know, I mean, you, we can go down. The, I, yeah. I'm not going to go to the details of the thing. Yeah. I, I I understand what you're doing. Yeah. And I, and I know what you're doing. I'm I'm just trying. To, I'm just trying to understand here. I you know, I, I, I did not. I did not meet with her. Number one. Number two, I, I didn't really want to meet with her. Okay. It was, it was, I, I really, if you go to the, the bottom lines of things, talk, let, let's talk about facts that I denied and I did not want to do that. I really did not want to. Jim, I know you're under a lot of pressure right now. I'm, I'm not sure under pressure wife, at all. I, well, I'm not, I'm really not. I mean, obviously being here is a little bit yeah. of pressure, but that's not. Are you married? Yes. No. No. God, no. You want her? You can have her. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got, I got one of my own. I, I, that's enough for me. Yeah, this is just give her ammunition. That's all. Well, I'm not trying to give no ammunition for nobody. This is just me, you, and Kate here, okay? Well, it's not, but... Well... Okay. I did not do anything to this, whatever this person is, whoever it is. I did not intentionally... Okay. Meet with I met with this person because this person, whoever it is, male or female, whatever, enticed me to the point where I, what I wanted to. And I, I. Did you? So you guys did talk about sexual acts in your conversations. I don't know that. Okay. Okay. Hey, hey, listen, listen. Do you want to fuck me? Yeah. Okay. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> this is fun. What is this for you? God, God, this, is, this, is, this is like a, this is like a, a, a scavenger hunt. <laughs> Almost. What happens when I get there? You want to fuck me? 
you go back. To yeah, that. I mean, I, 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 I don't look know. And I'm, I don't know. I don't I really don't know. It doesn't really, yeah. as far as I'm concerned. You know, it doesn't matter. You know, I, Jim, I'm just trying to figure out what really happened because if, well, if we don't talk about it now, and if I just give this to somebody, they're going to think you are a sick, maybe possibly a child predator, and I don't think you're that point, okay? I'm not. And you're not. But if we don't talk about it, what else? Tell me. What else? Can I tell people saying, you know, Jim, Jim made a mistake. This I didn't is what follow happened. through. Number one. Number two. Yeah. Number two. Um, the, because the fact I didn't follow through was yeah. is. I'm not so sure that I wasn't turned down the street right when he was picked up. Yeah. Um, if you if you check back on the, on the records, you, on, on the, the results, there have been three three at least three times where I where I turned around. And I I I'm not I'm, I don't do this. I don't number one. I don't really want to. Mm -hmm. Okay. Give me some sex. Okay. And I'll find ways to do the sex, but don't, don't, not, not this use thing. This is crap. This is really, really crap. If nobody stopped you tonight, what do you think might have happened? Nothing. Nothing? Absolutely nothing. And I'll be honest with you about that. I, I nothing. Nothing would have happened. <coughs> uh, okay. God, is this a place to tell the stories? as nice as any. Jim, we're just trying to be honest with each other. I went to a swingers club last night and walked out. Where was that at? Up in Dayton. Up in Dayton, Ohio, Kentucky? Mm -hmm. Dayton, Ohio. Yeah. I walked out. I, 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 and the reason I walked out is because, no, it's not for me. I'm, I'm not selective. I don't want you to think of it as being selective. Mm -hmm. I'm just... I'm looking for some 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 satisfaction of some somebody. Yeah, and, and, then, and I'm not looking. And again, my own motivation is not not to 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 um, just find somebody who, who's 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 interested in me. Okay, not 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 young, not old, not fat, not thin, not. Someone who is interested in, in who I am, and that's where we are. And how long have you and your wife been divorced, or been separated? Or we've been we've been divorced for um, two thousand was it four years? Five, almost four almost five years. Five years ago. Yeah. I've had other, I've had I've had relationships with other women. It's not it's not that. It's not a sexual thing at all. What, no. is, what is it? There's somebody, and I, and I, I guess, I'm, and I'm, I put this out, maybe this isn't the right place for doing it, but Cheyenne, whoever Cheyenne is, yeah. some George down the hall, talk to me. Again, he is incredibly bitter about the fact that the 13-year-old he was attempting to prey on isn't actually 13. And if what he's saying is true, that he just wanted someone to talk to, then that person, not being a child, shouldn't matter. But it does, because he is a pedophile. And when that person talked to me, there's a person. Now, I have other people that I talk to, and... For whatever that's worth, and I don't want to bring them into this, but but it made you feel good, didn't it? It, it? it kept me away from that loneliness that I have when I when I'm sitting in, in my house by myself, and um, nobody talks to me. Nobody to talk to. Yeah. You feel that lonely feeling, and you know and whatever whatever and however that comments itself. And she try and fill that, didn't she? She fulfilled that that need. Yeah, but then it turns around because of to this this crap, which well, is, which which I understand you mean for doing it. But, uh, I, I, I I don't I don't I don't. 
tell you, I think there's a need alone. for it. There's there's a need for people out there, and um, yeah, and um, that need is fulfilled by. And, 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 and the law enforcement, by the way, I'm in criminal justice. I have to tell you that. <laughs> That's the bottom line. But, I, but, but, but I am. I, I, at UC, I work for the criminal justice department. Um, there is a need for, 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 for people in this society to have a, have, have a connection with somebody. And I don't care. I don't want that, where that connection comes from. I, I think is, is is crucial, and that's where I've gotten fucked up, you know. But don't judge me on that. I'm not judging. I'm not uh, judging you. I know. Man. I know. I, I know you're not. I know, but eventually I will be. So yeah, and, and I know that system how it works. Um, but Jim, I I can understand that you know when you're feeling lonely and you, know, you feel like you have, you know, you're just by, do you, you just live by yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you felt that lonely man, you go home every night. No. You feel lonely. You talk to Cheyenne. Or whoever. And whoever you know, you're chatting to Cheyenne here. You feel like you can feel do you feel like you can feel open to say things? Right. <coughs> and, 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 and I don't and I don't you know and I think it's unfair of the of the of the, the justice systems to, to condemn me for talking to somebody. Um, if it's, it's underage, I, I can understand that, and that, I know that's where you come in. Um, my relationship that they create was created by with my relationship to, to to Cheyenne was because of the fact that I that I closed that out, and I I I, I fault you guys with that because. Uh, of the investigations or how you do that is that that person who, who's making those communications starts to connect with the person mm -hmm. and that connect and that connection that that you make is not is maybe maybe with the perverted people is is, is one that's it's really negative but with a person with a person like me it connects mm -hmm. it's, there's somebody who's talking to and um, I don't know. You do what you have to do. Let's let's put the bullshit in this go. I'm 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 just I'm I'm to the point. You know, I'm lonely. Um, I'm not going to get back to my if my ex-wife. I wouldn't do that anyway. Yeah. I have people who who don't want to talk to me anymore. And I don't care. So I have I have somebody shying who to, to talk to or whoever it is. Who are trying. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, maybe I went over the border, and um, if I did, that's what I'm paying. I'm paying the price. So you spend a lot of time chatting. I don't know what a lot of time is. Um, I guess it's relative to. It really, it really it, is. Yeah. I mean, I mean, probably a couple hours a day. Yeah. Maybe three. And, and 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 most of it's not chatting. Most of it's just trying to find someone who wants to talk. Yeah. And I think that's a I think that's a major problem too. What do you generally talk about with Cheyenne or other people? Um, just whatever anything, comes any, up. Anything. Anything. Music. The weather. <laughs> you know. Yeah. It really. You know. It, it really is. I'm trying to, you know, I'm going to be honest about that. I don't, I don't think it's going to go any further. I mean, you know, you're going to do this great, wonderful thing. You're going to find out the answers to the world on, on chatting. But it's, it's a whole world out there. And um, I, have, I have some real problems with what's going on right here. Um, because I think it's an infrasion. An invasion of, of privacy. Not not in terms of the the, the 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 younger age. I think that somebody else should have stopped that before I got to it. Well. 
Jim sees what is happening here as an invasion of his privacy, but the fact that he pursued a child and asked them to watch him masturbate doesn't seem to compute with him. Despite him saying he is a lonely person who was just seeking conversation and connection online, that is not the case. He had plenty of friends, a relatively large family, and was active in his community. He could have, if he wanted to, found people to talk to that were age appropriate, but he didn't want that. He wanted to be watched by a child, so he sought that out, and he just so happened to accidentally run into a sting operation by the police. I'm not a chatter. Okay. So if you could educate me a little bit on, okay. I'll, 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 you know, where where would you go to okay. find in somebody the case to of, talk In about. the case of the Cheyenne thing, mm -hmm. um, that was done through Yahoo, Yahoo Messenger, mm -hmm. who has, if you're 18, you're not allowed here. If you are, uh, if this, in the sessions, adult, can, adult, Kentucky, and I, in 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 that regard, I, that's where I really come off with, with I think it's it's not fair for you to come at me. Um, I'm except for the fact that. Up front, because of the way you guys do the way you do things, you make make sure that you say it's 13, 14, whatever. But that shouldn't be there in the first place. Again, Jim tries to blame the child for acting like a child would. Every person who has grown up on the internet has lied about their age at some point. You hit that you are over the age of 18 before you are, because you want to know what is being withheld from your safe version of the internet. That doesn't then mean adults who are aware of their actual ages are given carte blanche to treat them like adults, especially when one of the first things the person posing as Cheyenne said was that she was 13. Jim trying to imply that he isn't responsible or a bad person for trying to sexually groom a minor because they shouldn't have been on Yahoo Messenger is an irrelevant point but he is trying to deny responsibility in any way possible. If, if, you, if, you, if, it's, going to be a le if it's going to be something that legally com binds Yahoo or Goggle or whoever it happens to be to be an adult place to go, then if I go there, And you even say that you're 13. Why are you there in the first place? How did you get through that first, that first level? And and I really, I really have a, a problem with that. Um, I, you guys have heard this over and over and over. I, I'm really interested in knowing how this chat thing works and how you met Cheyenne. Uh, what type? I, I, is there I don't have any idea. I uh, go back to that. I don't know. I don't know what initiated the first conversation with Cheyenne. I don't. I don't remember. It's, it's, it could have been three weeks ago. It could have been a week ago. I have no idea. But, but I know that maybe I went through and I looked and and I went down my my my, my list of people who were adult camps. And I said, hey, you interested in hockey? Oh, webcam available. And she come, the, the name came up. So it you could up. tell that they had a webcam? Yes, you can tell that. Okay. So that's something that you look for no, when you no, talk no, to no. people? I don't, no, 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 no. I don't look for it. I don't oh, look okay. for it. No, I look for somebody to talk to. You know? And... Um, but if they have a webcam, even better. It, no, no, it, it doesn't really matter. It oh. really doesn't matter. It means that they're probably a prostitute and they're, they're putting their stuff out in the can. Uh, Most so. likely, it means it doesn't mean a damn thing at all. So what happens after that? Like okay, number. I put up a message out and they respond. And her, and uh, Cheyenne responds. One of the very first things that Jim stated when asked how he met Cheyenne was that she pursued him, that she had messaged him first, gotten sexual with him first, and he was powerless to stop it. But now, less than 30 minutes later, he admits that that was a lie. Fantastic. What happens after that? I'm, 
I'm not tech. I'm not tech savvy. Uh, so okay, okay, okay. So, so Shine responds. She says, "Hi, how are you? Hi. Yeah, what you doing?" And it go and it goes from there. And then you know, if if, if they're if they're in the legal system and they're they're taking care of their little little niches that they need to take care of, I say, "Well, hey, I'm only 13." Oh, that's okay. Still want to talk to you. What's going on? How was school today? Jim has destroyed his own case. He just made a speech about how if a child ends up on a website meant for adults, he shouldn't be condemned for not knowing that they are a child. And now immediately after is admitting that Cheyenne told him that she was 13. And he said, oh, that's okay. I still want to talk to you. How was school today? If you are on an adult site looking for sexual conversation, and at any point a person identifying themselves as a minor appears, you are now legally responsible. If you have been made aware of their age, it is your responsibility to not prey on them. And I, and I don't mean that, I don't, that sounds so trite. And it doesn't, and it doesn't mean, in terms of me, I'm a teacher. I've been a teacher. Yeah. I've done it. How was, how was your school today? Is not, well, let me get in and fuck you. It's not it. It's understanding that person. And, and, and I, I guess, I guess that's what the, because they have social needs too. Just they have like social you. needs. Here, okay, and then in the in what is present to me from Cheyenne or whoever it is, stupidly said me as one, is here's this girl, supposedly girl, who supposed, supposedly is going through a divorce, whose parents are separated, not as an opportunity for me as a predator to go after them, but as a person. To, to try and answer questions, and then, and then uh, I You're helping them. them. Except for, like I said this afternoon, which which I, I went on the way over. And I only went overboard because of the fact that I, I personally was frustrated, but that's the end In their conversations, Cheyenne did state that her parents were going through a divorce, and she was having a hard time with it. The following is the chat log from their conversation regarding that. Cheyenne, my mom and dad are getting a divorce. Jim, it is not the end of the world. Cheyenne, daddy moved out and doesn't like to talk to me. Sad face. Jim, sorry. Let me know if and when you want to meet, talk, etc. Cheyenne, K, what you want to do if we meet. Jim, it can go a lot of ways. For now, let's leave it at talk. But I want you to know I find you attractive, but young. Cheyenne, ah, thanks. Jim, what I would love to hear is boy, I'd like to feel that dick. But I understand. Yeah, that's awesome, Jim, that... That classic feel that dick line. I mean, who hasn't used that at least five times a day when they walk outside? So objectively, this was not a man looking to help a girl deal with her parents' divorce. So do you see your role as helping them through their life as well as them helping you? I'm always doing that. That's the person I am. Sounds like you've done it for many years. I mean, you've helped people, you know. 30, 40 years. Yeah. And, and not on the internet, but, 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 but yeah. Well, yeah, I'm not going to say, I'm not saying in yeah. your life, in your lifetime, you, you've helped many, many people. To my colleague that's next door to me, I, I'm, helping, I'm helping her do what she needs to do. I'm, I'm, I'm not a, a bad person, I'm really not. Um, and, and I didn't hurt her. I hurt whoever, the, whoever this Cheyenne was, which was, and I knew it. I don't know. Maybe maybe in the in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, I'm, I I I I knew this was bad. I knew this was bad. And in the in the back of my mind, I knew what was bad. It was a setup. It was all a setup. Oh, talking with her was a setup. Yeah, from the beginning. <clears throat> uh, and 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 in in that in that set in that in that in that frame, I was hoping that it wasn't. But in the, 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 the good nature that I am, I, I, you know, that's much I really wanted to help. I, I, I you know. How, how are you going to help her tonight? I don't know. Tonight? Mm-hmm. Talk with her. 
talk with her about this divorce thing that her parents were going through. I mean, really, uh, that was that was my just. Do you think it could have been more? No, no, no. Got it. Okay. I, let me go back to what was talking last week. I went to, like I said, a swingers club last night in Dayton. I walked down. Three women there. That's not one of them. I mean, it's sexual, sexual, sexual. But in your chat, you ask if if she would have sex. Well, be, be only, only, be only because I was trying to get that that corner into to her to to to, to let loose and you know. And I don't know. Maybe maybe in the wrong. Maybe in, in the in the in the bad sense of things. Maybe that, that was it. But I don't. I don't think it was. I, I wouldn't have followed through with it. I think it was more trying just trying to get a connection with her. Yeah, yeah, I really do. I really do. I think she's she just just doesn't know where she's going. She doesn't know where she's going. She's trying to figure life out, and you're trying to help her figure that life out. I, I, at, at, at least in, in my sense of in it. your mind, in your mind, in your mind. I you know I I would have. The last thing I wanted to do was come over here to Campbell County and 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 and, and meet a thirteen year old. Give me a break. Last night I could have had I could have had two women. Why would I want to do Why would I want to do that? But, but tonight you were just trying to help somebody. I, I I really think I really feel I was trying to do that. I really, I'm, and I I turned her down twice. If you read those damn emails, I turned her down twice. I, I'm not coming. I'm scared. I don't want to do it. it it's uh, it's too much for me to do. Yeah. And I, and I really and I really felt that way, but I was I was trying to. She was so searching now again. It's that, and this this is the part that bothers me. Is like that, that that provoking to to get me to do something. I'm, without that provoking, I would have. She have backed off. If it had been backed off, I would not even have even thought about. it. This is similar to what Justin Roiland said on a podcast appearance, but it is even more untrue in this instance. Jim had, on multiple occasions, talked about wanting to meet up with Cheyenne. He told her about his hot tub, asked if she wanted to come to his house, and basically made it a point to say in each conversation that he wanted to have sex with her. The decoy didn't force his hand or insist in any, in any forceful way that he needed to come over to have sex with her. The idea that this is entrapment and that the predator did nothing wrong is completely false. Had the decoy been a real 13-year-old, Jim would have been alone in a house with a minor and likely would have assaulted them. Yeah, but she must have really needed you for you no, to... No, not for she, her to, whoever it is. Let's, let's, let's make clear. Right, right, but what you because thought that, that, that's, was that, that she that, needed you. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And and you know what, I, and I gotta go back to that in relationship to the police department, the criminal justice. Mm -hmm. You gotta watch out how far you take that, because there are people who do care about other people, and I'm, I'm, I'm and you, you can write off this thing. Oh, I, you can take me to court and all that. <coughs> I, I wasn't gonna hurt that kid. And I don't think you were. I, I wasn't. I, 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 I no, there's no question Jim, about Jim, it. Jim, I honestly think you were not going to hurt Cheyenne or whoever you thought you were gonna meet tonight. You're, Jim. I know you're not going to hurt her, right? No, I, 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 I know I, that. No, I wasn't. You, I, wasn't. You, I don't think you had any. I have more hurting. intention of hurting myself than I do of hurting but her. But you needed to fill a void. I need, no, no, no. It's not a, it's not a void. I, I, I don't want to make it a void. I got people I talk to some some places. Okay. What a need. What a, what I have. A, I have a need. To help people, yeah. Um, I mean, maybe that's closer to it than than filling a void. Than because I do have people who have problems, and, and, and I have no problems. But yeah. Relation I really said, I really relationships said. are hard, and yeah, it sounds like that um, 
the connection that you were making with her, she was innocent, you were innocent, you were just trying to help her, um, and it just got out it of just hand. Got, it got out of hand. I agree with you. Yeah. And it's, it's much easier to talk to a younger person because they're more open and understanding. But see, and, this, and, then I go, and again, this is the lesson I think that you need to learn. You're playing a role, and when, or whoever does, whoever's doing it, is playing the role of something that they're not. And when they play that role, they've got all this stuff behind them, all this garbage, not garbage, it's not really garbage, it's really experience. Okay, They've got that behind them, and they're manipulating that all the way through it. Mm -hmm. And with a person or a, a, a good, successful, uh, what do they, they call it, uh, officer, who is, is doing this, a good officer can, 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 can remove that a little bit so they can be innocent to, to bring that in. But the, the return on that, which is the problem, is the person from the outside who comes in. They don't see it as that person who has, has, has all that control. And therefore, relax, give up levels of of, of, of intensity that they might not have if they were talking to an adult. And therefore, because of relaxing that intensity, maybe some things out that need to get out, but also go, in my case, go over overboard. And, and expect that person who's on the other side who, who is intelligent enough and has the experience enough to really understand what's going on there makes a critical judgment instead of an emotional ju uh, judgment on what's happened to a person like me. I don't know if that makes sense, but do what you have to do. I don't, I don't really care. I, I mean, I really do. It's going to, it's either going to crush my life or it's going to, we're going to go. Well, I think by Getting it off your shoulders and talking about it. I think at least you're making a step somewhere. I mean, I'm not. I'm not trying to get. I'm not trying to get some damn thirteen year old in my bed. I don't, I, that's not it. If I want to get somebody in my bed, I go to the swingers club. I go to the date people I date, which are, there, are, there are three or four that I normally date, and, and I can do that. It's not. That's not. I mean, that's not. I'm not a predator. I'm not that. That, that in that ballgame. I don't like even young women. I don't know. There's a little problem with that. There's a, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's like young guy, little guys. I don't know. I can't yeah. put them over there. That's, that's not your thing. <laughs> okay, it really is something. Yeah, that's not your thing. But, but it's nothing, but, but beyond my not my thing, it's I don't, there are people out there who do. And, and that's not me. And you're, yeah. you're, and I'm really serious. You know, Jim, if I thought that was you, I wouldn't waste my time here with you. Because I've, if I felt that way, I'd say, you know what? Jim's yeah, like that. Right. Throw you away. And okay. I'll get to Okay, let me give you another indication. I taught music for 31 years. I have never been arrested in that 31 years for any kind of child molestation or anything like that. And the 31 years... I've seen many, many kids go through the through my system and through the systems that I, that I work. It's the wrong ballgame. I mean, it's just not, it's not me. Okay. So when you were online chatting mm -hmm. and you felt that you were, you felt like you were talking to somebody who possibly did understand and probably had some experiences, you felt like you could let go, right? You know, it's funny, uh, to put it in perspective, over the last 
couple weeks, which Sharon has been involved. I did not feel that way until the night. And I don't know what made that difference. I don't. I have no idea what made that difference, but I felt like, like maybe maybe it's a movement on the part of the people who, whoever did it to to to, to, to kind of motivate me to go that direction. Um, no, I really was very very cautious of not letting my, any information out, not not any, not not even my emotions until tonight. Tonight. Tonight you felt, you know, that you could be I guess I was be like, free. I just looked, I was just looked down. I, did, I was, uh, I was, I was tired of playing games and, and doing the things and just backed off and just, okay, you want to, you want to talk, you want to get together, here's my phone number, give me a call, I'll do it. I mean, really, it's, 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 it's and you let, your, you let your guard down. I let my guard down. Guard now. I let my guard down only because of the fact that I had my guard up for weeks, yeah. and 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 only and, and and through that guard that I had, I thought maybe she needs some help. Maybe she needed to talk to somebody. Maybe she was moving in a direction that she that I could help her in some way. Really, that's the honest answer. And what did you want to talk to her about? I mean, I mean regards to. to I, I want I want to open up those those channels. I don't I don't know where she was yeah. in that regard. I wanted to open it up so she could talk to me. Uh, and she in 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 the past she was she was guarded too. And she. Or you got, I mean, you talked about a lot of things. You said you talked about, you know, different things. You mm -hmm. know, um, do. You, how was it you guys talk about? I know you said you let your guard down mm -hmm. and you're feeling lonely. How many times did you guys talk about sexual things? Uh, not nothing until tonight. Okay, nothing until that, that, that I'm aware of. Are you aware? I don't remember anything. The connotation of the and if it was if it, if it was it was like really off the wall. Off the wall. Yeah, it wasn't like as as as, as, as straightforward as it was. Tonight. So what do you consider a straight kind of off the wall? Just. Something that you remember oh, talking about? I don't, I, don't, I don't remember. I don't, don't remember specifically. Do you guys? I mean, no. use off the wall things maybe about getting a blow job or anything like that, or oh, talking about uh, how what kind of relationship do you have? She, what she have with her boyfriend? Okay. I mean, do you guys go deeper than that? Did he ever touch you? About that, that's about it. That's about the extent of it. That's that's about the bottom of it. Really. Uh, I mean, did she ever talk to you about me going deeper than that? I mean, any? Not until tonight. Okay. And, 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 and I'm not sure she really went that far with me as much as I went her on, which, yeah. which is my problem. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what did you guys talk about tonight? That just kind of seemed like everything. I don't. I don't know what it was about tonight. I, um. I don't know what what provoked that. Uh, maybe it's just a, a commonality, or or a, just a talking over a period of time, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, which is probably about a lot of it. Kind of culminated. I've overcome. No, it's, it wasn't a culmination. It was more. It, it was more of of a of a of a. Of a um, Just a just a uh, uh, a relaxed nature between two people. Mm -hmm. uh, I, 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 I said it doesn't. It wasn't a culmination of things. It was more of a of a of a relaxed nature of. Understanding each other. I. I so you felt like you were on the same page. Yeah, I, I, and, and yeah, yeah. That, that 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 we could talk about something. And you were you were open. You guys were open. You I, yeah, yeah. I, I agree with that. I, I think it became it be, for some reason it became more open tonight than ever before. And um, and then obviously 
explode. But again, I jump on you guys for that. I jump on you for that because because that that what what, what I needed, whether it was Cheyenne or Joe Blow, I needed somebody to talk to, and and instead of somebody to talk to, I ended up with with investigations. Well. I, I understand. I, I, I don't. I don't. I don't criticize you for it. Don't understand. Don't misunderstand. I understand. I. I. I, I it's, it's. It's a. It's a real social, and it's a real social problem. I don't know how often. Off. Do you do this every night? No. 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 This is, Jim. You. You know. Like I said, before. We're just trying to get out what happened tonight and what's been happening. And, you know, I understand that you, you've had a rough time. Mm-hmm. You, you, you've needed to talk to somebody. Yes. You could have you could have went out with two women or three women the other night. Fifteen. I mean, right, 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 right. last the other night, yeah. two nights up there. Two people. Talking to Cheyenne made you feel good. Kind of let you... It, let sol- it solved the problem. It, 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 but it didn't solve a problem in terms of I didn't do anything except for talk. Yeah. And <clears throat> when you and then tonight was just a culmination of you know you, you felt like you know hey maybe you know maybe I need to see her maybe she can actually I can open up I can open up to her. And it's like, and that's exactly and that is really essentially it. Uh, I, and I am. And I, you know, did it would it come to in some sexual thing? Uh, I'm not going to say it wouldn't, but I'm I'm in the other side other side of me, which, which, it it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have, it it. it I can't believe your phone's ringing. It would not have. It would never reach that point because of the person I am, mm-hmm. and because uh, I would I would never take advantage of her. If you go back on those and you'll see it, how many times I ask you, are you sure you want to do this? Are you sure? And the reason why is because I didn't want to hurt her. I didn't want to. She was young, supposedly. She was young, and I did not want to do that. I, I really, this young thing. I don't think you, Jim, you did not, I know you didn't want to hurt her. No. And you, and you went there tonight see her, to help her out, you know, and Dance could have, you know, but you, but you would, I don't think if anything would have happened, now I'm talking anything, mm-hmm. you would have never heard her. I, I Jim, I know that. Right? I wouldn't. You, you wouldn't, you, that's not me. You, that's not you, but, you know, you know, you know, you were there for her, you were trying to be there for her, and you came here for that reason. To be there for her tonight, and I and let's let's let's, let's be realistic about that too. Yeah. I I came here to be for her, possibly sexually too. Yeah. And 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 I, it, but I don't know if I could have ever done that. Yeah. I I don't think I could ever. Done, I mean I I'm serious. I have I went to the, I told you this one swingers club. Yeah. So I've been dating. I have gone there twice yeah. and I've walked away because, no. That's not what me, what I want. I I, I want to go to some place and meet somebody who really really needs what I am, not my you, dick. You know. He wants you for you. Wants Jim. Yeah, and 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 I'll, and I'll do I'll do a hell of a lot for that. We can go into personal yeah. <laughs> details on that, but but there are people. There are people in my in my life who would do anything for me to, yeah. to just give up everything I have and just go with them. Yeah. But I won't do it. And there are other people on the inside who 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 need every bit of me and I can't give I can't give them that because I've got this other person who really needs me who doesn't yeah. Who won't say the thing? And tonight. 
To clarify, Jim is insisting he is not a predator because he is just so hot. He could sleep with anyone he wanted. So why would he sleep with a minor? According to Jim's chat logs, he was seeing someone at the same time he was trying to sleep with Cheyenne, but he described them extremely unfavorably, saying that she was overweight and had her own issues that he didn't want to deal with. He was not neck deep in women wanting to be with him. There was no one in his life willing to give up everything so he would give them a chance. And the idea that there was is silly. Sillier still, that doesn't make him not a pedophile. Sounds like there's a lot of relationship issues going on oh, for you right now. Oh, absolutely. I have no, no question about it. Yeah. I can be specific about it. You want specifics or you want to talk about legalities? I have a girlfriend who won't get married, who doesn't want to see me except for on the weekends when she wants to get fucked. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have another another woman who just who would just would would love for me to just move in with her. I can't move in with her because she she's she's not going anywhere. She's just not. I want I want this one to come around. She never will. So what I do, juggle phone calls on those two. Then we add in the other emotions of you know. Okay, so I can't satisfy any one or two. I know you. <laughs> I can see you're gone on this. You have no clue what I'm talking. About. But but there, but this all this is all going on. But these are your feelings. Yeah. These are your feelings. Well, no, they're, they're beyond my feelings. They're, they're, they're people who, who affect my feelings. And they're people who, who I can get down on my knees and say, stop this shit. Yeah. And then, and they, they, you know, so eventually I'll die and, and everybody else will go on. And, and tonight, this is, I, I, as I said, I don't care. I don't want to be involved in a whole bunch of legal shit. I've been there before, not, not major, but, but yeah. yeah, I don't, I know what's like, I know what this shit is like, and, um, what do you want to be there for tonight? I wanted to help somebody out. I and wanted, I wanted somebody, she, her mother was not around, her father was not around, and she didn't know what to do. And she had Advanced. emotion, emotional feelings? Sexual feelings. Mm -hmm. She had a multitude of feelings. Right. And yeah. I could answer some of those by my dialogue, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. And make back for You know, but right now we're talking about it. And that's the main point. I mean you could you could come in there and say that, you know <clears throat> I still I still feel sabotaged. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to sabotage. You. But I feel sabotaged. Yeah. Um, because 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 of the fact that is I'm 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 not out there fucking the, the 13 year olds and 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 or uh, getting them drunk and and taking them up to hotels and as we always know from the news today. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing that, and I and I don't have a desire to do. That. But you but you felt a connection tonight. I, and tonight, tonight I was. She needed. And she needed you, and you. And I needed her in some yeah. sense. And I needed to be able to let yourself go. No, no, no. I needed to. I needed to there's help a, her. There's a needy. There's a needy thing. to help her. I needed to, to. I needed to fulfill a need of somebody. And I've always done it all, all my life. I, I would go back the history with the, with the, with, the, with the, my school. And it's always it's always that trying to find some way to help some kids, and I really felt that I really felt that need. I'm, and I'm not, it's not bullshit. It's just the way I feel. That's bullshit. So, I mean, if that's the way you feel, I, I mean, I don't think that's bullshit. Well, I know, but on the on, on outside of it, and people look at it. They, they don't they don't see. Them. But you have feelings. I mean, you'd be inhuman if you didn't have feelings. And tonight was about feelings. Tonight, it was. Tonight was about feelings, and tonight was about you trying to help someone who you felt you needed. Help them is the is the key word there. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you and wanted to share. I wanted to be. Them. I wanted to be able after, after the discussion of the of the we, we talked about if it's if it's sexual or whatever it happens to be, I wanted to 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 yeah you know, share that this is how I would see it, what do you need? 
where 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 do we go from there? What what what? How how does my role change with you? Okay. Enough 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 labor. Do do what you have to do. You know, Jim, um, you've said several times that you know you feel sabotaged. Mm -hmm. We're not here to make life harder for you. I mean, you're in the situation that you're in, and right now we have an opportunity to talk through things and maybe get you in a better situation so that you don't feel sabotaged. Okay, in, 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 that, re in that relationship, in that, in that perspective, how do I deal I'm going to be online, unless you guys chop off my arms and take my job away, um, and deal with that when I see somebody who does have a need. Um, I don't. I don't mean searching out. I'm not talking. I'm somebody. I have. Ne that's a whole other thing. I never, never have gone to somebody on the internet who hasn't responded to me. However that, however that plays a perspective and how you deal with the job that you do. For me, once they respond to me, then, then, then I have not an obligation, I don't, I don't, I don't, but, but, I, but I, I need to, I, do I need to answer them or do I shut it off? And and that is real. That is really hard for me. Yeah. That is really hard. When somebody said, "Hi," after I said hi to them, I mean, just that symbol. Just that symbol. If I if I don't respond to them, it says, "Oh, well, he doesn't care." It's like the thirty-seven thousand other people that don't care. You know. And I, and, and, I, and, I, and I have a real problem with that because if, if somebody responds to me, I always respond to them. Mm -hmm. uh, I, uh. Okay, I'm This is not a problem. Jim insisting that he is morally compelled to talk to anyone who talks to him online, and therefore asking a minor to have sex was okay, is ridiculous. That's nonsense. Do, do, what, what, what are we doing to do here? If you could talk more about um, the information that you exchanged with Cheyenne as far as pictures or I never sh chat. I, I did have my, my webcam and my webcam has, has been both with, uh, been both uh, 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 visuals, I mean, obviously seeing me and, uh, facially uh, genitalia. Genitalia. Yeah. How many times would you say? Um, I would say maybe one or two times that she has accepted to see me okay. that way. And that was on Yahoo. It was on Yahoo, okay. and it was her. I, ne I, I never, I never forced it on her. She always, she always asked to, to have an exception, have, have uh, to accept it. Um, uh, but not. It, it's not always been gentile, but that face. Yeah, so there's multi yeah. multitude of different things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, that, but that's only, uh, and again, only because of the fact that that's the way I was at that point. Uh, not not that I was, no, okay, Cheyenne is going to be on, so let's put it on my dick. No, it was never that. It was, a, it was there, I just clicked on, webcams available, she accepted it. Or not accepted it. in most cases, and, and she didn't always accept it either. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, was this in response to the conversation you were having? No, no, there was, no, no. There was there was usually no conversation in relationship to that. No, no, no conversation. No, nothing. Uh, is is this an adult cam? No, no, not even even that. Okay. This cam is available. You want you can say it if you don't. When when you sent that, but that's again, okay, okay, again, yeah. but in relationship to other people other than than Cheyenne, that was 
how does common practice, common practice run? To, what, did, what, what did you hope when? If somebody you, wanted to look at it, they could they could they could look at it, decline, and look at it, stop, go on, do their own. So, I, that, that was my that was my yeah, and that was my. That was what I expected them to do. If they didn't want to see it, they didn't do it. If they did see it and they didn't want to look at it, they could click on. So you sent it as something as if she wanted to view it, she could view it. If she didn't, she didn't want to view it. Exactly. And I, 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 I would have done that with. I would have done that beyond, but beyond Cheyenne, the way all the, uh, any other people that I had had had, had any contact with. I mean, when you go through hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, and you get a response, and you put on, and you put on uh, my webcam is available. That's it, and then then you get that cho that choice. So, when you said that there were uh, webcam shots of your genitalia, mm -hmm. what was going on? Was there masturbation involved? Um, not in not in all cases, no. Just there. Just there was some, there there was masturbation in in places of people who did have a connection with me. Okay, in other words, people who stayed with me and been long short term. No, no. What about what, with what Cheyenne? No, yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. There was. I, and that and that and that, that may be just a I don't remember, but I I don't, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. I think it was more like, you know, here, here, here's a guy's thing, you know, more, that, that was more of it. More of an education for her? I think so, I think so. She, she was, uh, at least whoever, whoever she is, <laughs> we go back to that. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it was, it was more of, of a, of a, um, Explore, this, is, this is what a guy looks like. Yeah. Oh, your boyfriend looks like you ever touched that your boy boyfriend? Yeah. Oh yeah, I touched him once. Okay. Nothing more than that. Nothing for her. That, that I remember. I sure. remember. Okay. And you said you only do that like one or two times? You said you sent something out or Um probably one or two times. Uh, uh, no more than that. And then tonight, um, said you were going to be for her in various issues, you know, because her son with her parents and... She said her mother was working at the hospital and that, that, that she was free and and, yeah. and, I, and I connected and... And you... I gave her my phone number. You gave her your phone number. Which, is, which was a big, was a, was a big step for me. Yeah, well, for, you know... Well, a big step for me because, number one, I, I, I never had a, I didn't even know where she lived. Yeah. And um, um, and then we, we followed through with that and that, that fiasco. Yeah. Been driving all over. Driving. Driving. How, how'd you find her? How'd you find her place there? Um, luckily. Did you get like a map quest? Or? No, I, I had originally had a had a had a, a, a map, but but uh, we never. I I I, I, spent, I spent an hour looking. Her directions were terrible. Um. <laughs> or who's whoever it is, their directions. They were terrible. Yeah, they were. <laughs> so, did you have to call her back? Or? She called me, but then obviously that was. The and that's where you kind of kind of asked where, where is this? Well, where am I going? What am what, I doing? Was it a cell phone? Or? I'm not uh, sure. Or your My, I had phone. a cell phone. I had a cell phone. So she was calling you on your cell phone. Mm -hmm. Or whoever it was. Yeah. Okay. okay. Have you ever called her on your cell phone or anything no. like that? No, never. Not till night. Okay. And. Tonight, I know a lot of things you wanted to express certain things you wanted to kind of I'm trying I'm trying I'm trying, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to express your feelings Jim. Okay, I I'm trying to express your feelings and because and I want to get it right I don't want to say something that's not right okay. and but you, tonight you know you wanted to see how she was emotionally, sexually. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, is that what kind of where the condoms come into play? 
Were the what condoms you had on you? I I, 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 I wanted to put them in my pocket, which I did last night also. Yeah. That maybe that should be noted. Yeah. I, I put the, I put the condoms in my pocket tonight. Yeah. I if if there's something culminated that 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 she that it went that direction. I at least you want to still you be safe. Okay. I, the same reason why I had them in my pocket last night in case of when I went to the swingers club, yeah. I would have them in, in that case. I, and you and you protect yourself. I no I, no yeah. Number one, I protect myself. Number two, I protect the person as well. Just like I said, you you care about people. I can understand that you would would want, like I said, you didn't want to hurt nobody. You, exactly. That's and, exactly. And that's you know, and tonight went in that direction. You you were at least been prepared. I was prepared if it was when it came to that point. Yeah. Which. Did I really expect it to be there? No. Did you want it to be there? Oh yeah, I'd love to be there. <laughs> only, only, only a sense that I, that I, I'm, I'm frustrated as hell. Jim just fully admitted to wanting to sleep with a 13-year-old. Up until this point, he'd been denying it. When it was asked outright, he would say no. He wasn't interested in young women. Even 18 and 19-year-olds were too young. But after an hour of talking, with him getting comfortable and thinking that the police officers are really understanding that he is a good guy and wasn't doing harm to anyone, he states he really wanted things to work out tonight so he could sleep with a minor. This is obviously huge, and the officers in charge of this interview were extremely skillful in how they approached this interrogation. It was vitally important that they give Jim the runway to say whatever he wanted and not feel judged. He needed to express everything that he was a good person, that so many women wanted to sleep with him without any sort of pushback to get to this point. Do I want this the Swingers Club? No way there. No, I can go down. I can go down the list. <laughs> I can go down the list. It's been two weeks since I've had a. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm frustrated as hell. But to, and uh, expectations of it being there. Not any more than anything else. Really. And it, it, it really is aggressive, an aggressive nature on my part. You know. But you have feelings. I mean, it's well, like, but that one, but what I'm thinking of is, okay, I'm gonna go over and meet her. So, so what happened? Whatever happens, okay, it's fine. And then I'm thinking about, okay, well, I'm gonna stop over at uh, at uh, Rhinos over <laughs> after after it's over. With, maybe there's, you know, Rhinos. Rhinos is over. It's, it's a it's a, a bar over in uh, in Eastgate. And uh. okay, so if. <laughs> You know, if 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 this this like that doesn't happen or whatever, I'm ready. Yeah. That's exactly where it was. And I think it would have went. Say I think would would have went differently tonight, and we were not here. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you think you could have had a relationship with Cheyenne? Do you think there was enough of a connection there that you could have a relationship with her? Uh, I think it's too early. But you did feel, they, felt connected. You did feel connected to her. I felt connected to her, but I, I, but it was too, it was too fast. Too fast. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, it, it, it probably would have been one of those things where we sat down, have have the iced tea, and, and I went home. To be clear, Jim is stating that while he felt connected to Cheyenne and wanted to have sex with her. Had she asked for a relationship with him after the fact, he would have said no. The way he states this information is so ridiculous because he phrases it as if he would have let the child he is preying on down, like she was so in love with him that she wanted to be with him and only him. For some reason, he seems to think of himself as a sex god, that women are just clamoring to get their hands on. Um, and that's what's so bad about this, because that's where I was. Maybe she wasn't the same where the same area, but I or whoever it is. But for me, I, I just I really was not trying to. It's not this predator trying to. Get yeah, it, oh, yeah, and, yeah. and Jim, I, we, you, we've done went over that. Okay, but the, the point is, you I still think that you, some so there's some sense of that. But Jim, if you made a mistake, I can handle 
you made a mistake tonight. I did not contrive this mo this no. girl into to, to no. having sex with me. What I did what I did was I tried to, 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 to meet with her. To help her out. To, to help her out in what she needs to do. She's going through some stuff with her if if that's really and true. That's, and then I still go on with my life. And that's different from a predator. Yeah. Well, takes, I hope so. You got takes, I hope so. You know, Jim, I, I see the difference. Okay. okay. Yeah. And I, see, I hope so because I, I, I certainly. There's a clear there. distinction there. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, I just you know I, 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 I don't want that clapped on top of me. I've spent many, many years not not keeping away from it. But being aware that it's out there, and just being careful, yeah. and then to, and then end up the fall on this is like. Well, you've not had any issues before. No, not at all, not at all. But 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 the thing is, music teacher, elementary school. <sighs> there's there's magnitudes of shit out there for that, and. And things like this, if this had ever happened to me, I would, I would be fired from West Claremont immediately. Because of the fact that there is that stigma, and because of the fact that, you know, I'm since retired, so that it doesn't matter anyway. So. But, uh, but, the, uh, but you should know that. You should know that those qualifications that, 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 that come along with that territory and it's not just music teachers, it's, yeah. it's the other teachers as well. Any male teachers in elementary grade. And, like this is an incredibly worrying statement given his conversations with Cheyenne. The next portion of the interrogation I will skip through. Just know that he starts crying about a woman who he claims is the love of his life, who he cannot be with because she just doesn't want to be with him. However, he doesn't believe she really doesn't want to be with him. She just has control issues and won't allow him to love her. It has nothing to do with the situation he's in, besides the fact that she is a social worker and works with children who have been sexually abused. He brings that subject up as if what he is doing is not the same thing. He then signs consent forms for the police to go through his car. Uh, no, 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 you say, MC. Uh, the only other thing is, uh, I know you said you had nothing in your house. Do you have anything inside your residence there on? Uh, Brandy Way. Brandy Way. Is there anything in there to would give us any concern. You said you didn't have anything. You you have, the only thing that you would have would, would be the computer things, but you have all the references to that. Okay. Um, Do you have a problem with anybody looking in there to make sure there's nothing, nether, no, nothing of... Well, I still want to see my genitalia. <laughs> I'm sorry. Would you, would you, would you, would you, <laughs> got me off guard there. You got, you got me. Yeah, we're, we're, no, I really? Oh, got me. No, it's, no. it's late. Yeah, it's late. I'm <laughs> sorry. Uh, no, there's nothing on there. I don't, I don't keep pornography on there. I don't, and I don't distribute pornography. If somebody wants to go in there and, and, and go through and find a, uh, uh, some sort of program that I have, uh, say, um, um, there's no kitty porn or anything like no, that. No, no, no. And it's a, it's, 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 all, everything that's going to find is adult stuff. No, I'm not even talking about that stuff. I'm, uh, I'm talking about if somebody goes in, they find out that I have a piece of software that I, I that I have. Oh, uh, like Flores or something. Else, or something. That, 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 that there might be something like that, but I, but there's no, no, I don't do that. I, I'm yeah. Go in. All right. Again, this is an incredibly worrying statement. He doesn't seem to realize that he attempted to sexually exploit a minor, so making allusions to have access to the dark web isn't out of the question. You have no problem with that? No. Okay. Well, what I'll do, I'll just do another consent if you have, don't have a problem with that. Okay, but does that mean that they come in and take my computers away and, 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 re, and cause me a problem not to be able to work? Um, well, that, that could be an issue. Yeah. I mean, I'll say if there's information, I mean, if they deemed it feels like it could have some information that they may need, yeah, that is a possibility. Um, okay, so give me some, some help here. I can't tell you what to do. I mean, I yeah. mean it's, it's up to you. How are you, I mean, if I don't want to seem like I'm not cooperative because I really am cooperative yeah. because I really don't have the kitty porn shit on there. Yeah. If they want to do right. that, if, if there's kitty porn shit on there, somebody else has put it on there from some site something but in the same regard i need to be able to use my computer okay yeah 
Well, so have, it's up to you if 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 yeah. you want to consent or not. It's I'm I'm, I'm leaving that but up to you. We can't make you any promises on yeah. how quick say, you no, would get it back or not. It. What happens? If I don't sign it. Then you don't sign you it. You don't sign it. That's okay. It's, oh, it's only, completely only, your okay. call. Okay, but in in lieu, in lieu of the conversation that just, we just had, mm -hmm. I'm not putting and I'm not putting you on on spot. But that that is my reasoning for doing that. Okay. That's, that's fine. That only, means, only I, I have to have I have to have access to my computer. I have to have it in order to do my job. Okay. Yeah. I'm not going to force you to you know sign anything that you don't feel you want, and then you understand your reasoning. That's fine. Um, and I'll just leave it at that. Uh, I think right now I don't have anything else. Uh, do you want to do the statement? Yeah. Do you want to remind us on the statement? Yeah. Let's see. The last thing here, I overlooked it here. Um, would you be willing to write a written statement of what happened tonight? Or Oh, well, I'd like to have initially have one. Or would you like to write a written statement? Oh, do your I, own, do I want? Your own written uh, statement. It depends on what you're going to come across with. <laughs> if you come up, if you some come up, so it's so negative that then I'm a pervert and that I want. No, this is sure. from you. This is what. This is your account of what happened. I, I, I'm, I'm, what I'm saying is, is what I don't know what you have there, so. It's it's basically it's a blank statement. It's a voluntary statement. It's blank. Uh, it just lets you know does your it, rights. Does it does it it lets me know my rights? It lets you know your rights. If I don't put anything, that does that relinquish my rights? No. If you don't, yes. if, you don't if you don't want to write anything, you don't have to. Okay. It's, it's totally yeah. voluntary. This is not something I'm. I'm just giving you the opportunity. Okay. I'm just I'm just trying to be careful because okay. I, you know, I know the legal systems and I okay. like to screw around with you. That that is that okay. is fine. Um, I think that's every, everything I have for right now. Um, uh, I guess what we'll do is um, you'll go with another officer uh, for right now. Um, we got to do citation. Maybe. Yeah, it just uh, just, some, just a little bit of clerical. Just the paperwork it. so that whenever they get you there, they can process you quickly. Okay, we got the. You want me to grab this? Yeah, is there anything else I need to move up before we I'll run? hang here until you get it. No, uh, as of right now, there's nothing I can really tell you right now. Um, other than, you know, um, on this stuff. Uh, uh, do I just sit here? Yeah, just, just yeah, hang tight. Yeah, just with hang tight, and uh, I'll, I'll hang here with you until we get somebody in here. Okay? okay? And take a nap. Following the interrogation, Jim was charged with traveling in interstate commerce with intent to engage in sexual conduct with a minor. He was sentenced to three years in prison, which he spent bemoaning his charges and stating that he didn't deserve to be in prison. A man claiming to be his former cellmate described Jim as being more annoyed with his situation than anything, often declaring that he was the victim of police entrapment. However, after his three years were up, he relocated to Illinois. However, on the 22nd of January 2022, Jim seemingly passed away. Details about what happened are sparse, with some online not believing he's dead at all. If you have made it to this portion of the video, thank you for watching. If there's a case you would like to see covered, let me know by leaving a comment down below or emailing me at dreading.official at gmail.com. I will see you in the next video, but until then, remember to stay safe.